was good. <laughs> All right. We're with Leon Johnson, Guyana captain and West Indies batsman. Uh, Leon, you're here at the West Indies um, high performance camp, mm -hmm. learning more about playing spin bowling. Mm. Uh, tell us a bit about how it's gone and what you think you've benefited um, in, in, in the week so far. Yeah, I think it's gone pretty well. Um, you know, series coming up against India, test series, and they're usually um, heavily based spin bowling attack. So usually the, the trucks in the Caribbean now tend to favor spin. So the camp has been beneficial so far. Players have been doing specific drills, countering the spin, attacking the spin. So, I mean, it's, imp it's always important to prepare well, and I think um, we've been doing so, so far. And you made a test debut a few years back against a spin-based attack by yeah. English and uh, you've had a few opportunities since then. Um, how has it been for you, you know, um, getting, you know, getting back to where you'd like to be? Yeah, it's been, it's been a little difficult at the start, um, you know, being being left out after the South Africa tour. You said I made my debut and did well against Bangladesh and didn't do too bad against South Africa as well. But, you know, it's been a work in progress. Um, finished with the most runs this year in the regional first class tournament uh, you know I've achieved the, the kind of goals I've set uh, I think I could have I could have done a bit better but I was see happy with what I've done so you know it's been a bit tough but that's life yeah. okay you like Diana to the PCL 40 title so I'm sure that was very pleasing for you um, you know something that um, the second time you've led them to the mm -hmm. title so I know it's, it's something that's somewhat pleasing yeah it's very pleasing to know that you know we're the first guy in his team to to win back-to-back -back regional tournaments Guyana has produced a lot of great cricketers and a lot of great cricket teams and you know now they have managed to do that in back to back tournaments it's, it's an achievement in itself the guys are very proud of it uh, we work very hard work very hard during the off season and, and when you get results like that it's very pleasing and uh, overall as you you know you look at the landscape uh, the PCL you mm. know it's still still a young tournament so to speak mm. it's a new sort of um, investment in regional cricket how's it gone so far for you in, in, in terms of um, not just the 40 cricket, but mm -hmm. the uh, 50 over as well. Yeah, it's gone pretty. It's gone pretty good actually. Um, you know, six at least six one-day games now being played. You know, people always complained about the volume volume of cricket that we play in the Caribbean. It was probably a little less than we wanted. Um, you know, looking back at previous seasons, five games, and you know, some of the some of the stats out of five first-class games probably don't jump out at you but when a guy plays five and you know probably find his way a little bit and he comes and he, he does well in the other five it looks good you know so the amount of cricket that's played from that perspective is very good okay and um, a bit more on the camp how would you say right now that you're batting how would you say you're, you're playing right now in terms of your batting and how you feel at the, in the middle yeah i feel pretty good in the middle i've um, been working on a few things you know, after the after Here in the indoor, and things like that. Okay. Um, just another question. How would you say cricket has helped your overall life in, in terms of your, um, you know, not just uh, playing mm -hmm. for West Indies, but your overall entire life? What, what would you say? Yeah, I mean, I think cricket is a very similar to life in general as a teacher life. You know, um, I always try and base my life around, you know, around cricket. But it's helped me to, to be more humble. I know um, from playing at a certain level of cricket, going to other places, going to other countries, and you know, seeing the way that people live, it, it's made me more humble. Made me realize that you know, there's there's more to life than just cricket. You know. And uh, what mm. would you be doing if you didn't play cricket? Oh man, um, that's a, that's difficult. Since I was young, I always wanted to play cricket. Um, I. At one time, I wanted to be an engineer that's solely based on one of my uncles, my youngest uncle who I grew up with. Um, you know, he was like a role model to me, and he is currently an, actually an aeronautical engineer. So that's what he and did, and I probably would have done, would have done had I not pursued cricket. And finally, do you, do you have an interest in other sports, and which sports are these, and why? Where you find yourself liking these other sports? Well. To be honest, I the first sport I actually loved was basketball. So because my father used to play basketball and I used to follow basketball in the 90s, I was a big fan of the, the Chicago Bulls. Um, 
my mother used to always laugh at me. She always reminds me now that every time the, the Bulls lost, they used to go to bed crying. So you know, I had a, a big interest in basketball. Not so much anymore, but I think football has taken over a little bit. You know, um, I love the game of football. I'm not a great player, but you know, love looking at football and things like that. So it's, it's, it's basketball and football other than cricket. Okay, Leo. Thanks very much. Appreciate no problem. It. Thanks, George. Thank you.